Yeah, there you go. Close the gate. You have to, pull, yeah, pull. No, you're going to pinch your fingers. Okay, sorry. No, no. <laughs> it's a two-hand job. All right. Um, so, these are just regarding orders that I issued last uh, week. Whenever it was, yeah. So, do you still have the copy of the previous orders? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, this form is just for last week. Okay. So, I've revoked orders 2, 4, 10, and 11, okay. which is regarding where the perches are placed and regarding food and water. Okay. I've revoked those. Um, however, Orders 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 13, 9, and 12 shall remain in force. Those are speaking. Just, I just need you to clean up within the Yeah, group, I'm working on it. Remove all the debris and refuge. Put in some fresh yeah. shavings. Um, and, and just to the, the other concern is just there's so much debris in the yard and, and the chickens um, have access to it. We mm -hmm. don't know exactly what they're consuming. Like there, there was a, there's some rotten food and everything there. It's compost. Before you, so you have to remove, you will have to mm -hmm. remove all of that, but before you put down fresh food, ensure that the old food is yeah. removed first. Um, and then just regarding um, the nest boxes, I, I noticed that they're high up. What's the reason for that? The, well, because if I put them down low, yeah, outside, essentially, then the skunk family over there will come in and be attracted if I don't happen to get all the eggs. Plus, it's just... They can jump up there. It's easier for me not to have to bend over to get them. Okay. I mean, there is one in the coop, the big blue Rubbermaid. Like, yeah, that's why there's nest, there's eggs in there now, and there's one that always likes to go in the the blue Rubbermaid okay. in the bottom. That's why I left it there. Because one day I was like, I wonder why I am not finding all the eggs I should be, and they had stashed a whole pile down in the bottom. Like, oh. okay. <laughs> I had to crawl in to get it. Okay. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know. I figured instead of writing them all out, I would just refer. refer yeah, yeah. But let me know if you have any questions. Uh, now, regarding the new order, it says just to have that checked. Looked at. Assessed by a veterinarian. Oh. Um, I gave a short compliance. How long has the injury been there for? Two days. Two days. Okay. So I gave a short compliance just because it's a young trick. I and I noticed it at the end of the, the day, like, you know, in the evening. So not two full days. Okay. Um, and then also regarding the laying hens, I, I counted a few nest boxes, but because you have so many, ensure that you provide a minimum of 10. I have been told that each four hens should have a nest box. So I have one, two, three, four. So 16, there's 14 hens and then six juveniles that haven't started yet. So. Okay, so, so 16 hens as of now? Then provide a minimum of, of eight nest boxes. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, just keep me updated tomorrow regarding your vet visit. Well, I'm gonna have to or, gonna have to find somebody who can do that because I'll, I'll probably ask Mike, Mike Mike Patrick. Pit, Patrick. Have yep. And I have his email. Perfect. All right. Thanks. Sir. You're welcome. And then you're probably gonna have to close this. Yep. Way. Come through too. Thank you.